My mother is Marion Devant. Uh, she was married for 71 years to my father. I was born and raised in Jacksonville, Florida, and met him in Gainesville uh, right before the war. And, and they got married, and then he went off to the war for three years. And uh, came back and moved to Miami. And uh, she had five children. Uh, and she's now, she's got, what, five great-grandchildren, and I think six great-grandchildren. She said she thinks that mom's having a stroke, and, and uh, my wife Teresa said, well, we're getting in the car, and we, we, we were here within minutes, got upstairs, and mom, mom sits in a chair similar to this one, and uh, sh she was like this, and her, she couldn't move her arm, she couldn't move her left leg, and she was a little bit droopy, she could hardly talk. We knew that it, what was going on, and uh, rescue got there, and, and they, they probably within less than a minute, they, they oh, she's got, she, yes, you know, she's got the symptoms. I was alerted by one of our excellent best nurses in the hospital, and um, she was explaining to me and telling me that we had this patient that was coming from this assisted living facility with stroke-like deficits. So luckily, I remember, she was being transported via the ambulance and there was a teleconference where we were able to obtain all the information from this patient. I was nervous and I was on the phone with people and trying to figure out what to do. And Anyway, they, they loaded her up and got her downstairs and I, they've got some equipment that's associated with Baptist in the squad and they were, they were talking to the hospital. Because of this technology, we were able to contact the family member who was right away in the ambulance with her explaining that what she was having was most likely stroke-like symptoms. By the time we got to the hospital, they backed up and there's that certain room at, at the ER that opens up right into the, onto the loading bay and there were, must have been 10 people from Baptist Hospital sitting. There was nurses and technicians and the doctor and he said, don't even stop. They went straight to the CAT scan room. She was evaluated on time. She had everything on time. We sent her to the CAT scan suite. She got her CAT scan. There was no hemorrhage and we pushed the altiplase. And what it basically does is dissolve the clot that is causing the stroke. We gave it to her and she improved dramatically. We even were going to send her to get thrombectomy aspiration of the clot. But when she went to the angio suite, she completely resolved. I was in shock. I was super happy. I'm in the waiting room upstairs at the cath lab and all of a sudden the doctor comes out. He goes, I don't think we need to do anything. And I said, really? <laughs> and he says, yeah, I think she's okay. Because she's up, she's kicking her legs up in the air and she's, I think he said, I think that the medicine worked. Mom, remember when you turned 100, we couldn't have a big party. So we had the cars drive by, but for 101, in October, what do you want to do? Same thing. Same thing? <laughs> what if we had a big party and everybody came? Oh, we'd like that. Yeah, you'd like, like that. that? Yeah, okay. Have all the family come and all your friends? That would be fun, right? That'd be fun. Okay. You, you're in charge. I'm in charge. Yes. <laughs> it's already in the works, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, it, it, was, it was quite an experience and uh, I can't, I can't thank you enough.